Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're about to try one of the best curry noodles in the Subang Jaya area. And we're super excited to try this. This small humble curry noodle stall is located in this classic old style coffee shop called Tam Chuan, situated at the ground floor in one of the flats. How long have they been around? They've been around for 22 years. It is a small family business run by an auntie, but today she's having her day off, so her son and two daughters are helping her out instead. To place your orders, just go over to the stall and tell the owner what you want to have. There are four types of noodles to choose from, mihun, kuei tiao, wonton noodles, and yellow noodles. It's around 7.30 right now. When we came, we were number 5. Right after that, it was already 20 and there's not many seats anymore. So, it can be really packed. Good morning, Leng Leng. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Okay, so this is my first time trying this. This is said to be one of the best in Subang Jaya's. So there are like three types of noodles that you can choose from. I chose the Kuei Tiao. Su chose the Bihun. And let me try this out. Let me try the broth first. Oh wow, it's very creamy. It's a savory, there are curry flavors in there, the spices. This is really good. Oh yeah, we have like long beans. Chasu, Taopok, Cockles, and Bean Sprouts. I said it's a very generous amount of ingredients. Everything is well balanced in here. And then this. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh yeah. Where do I start? The noodles is silky smooth. So soft and and the noodles actually suck in all of that curry soup so flavorful and rich so aromatic in your mouth and um, the, the char siu and, and all the other ingredients goes really well together you have that savory sweetness from it the cockles give it a little bit of that iron flavor it's very very good I, I would recommend this and definitely I would say yes one of the best mm. so I've ordered the bihun version which is, which is also the vermicelli noodles Let's give this a try. I'm gonna try the broth. Oh wow, it's so creamy. It's a little bit towards the sweet side. It's not too spicy, it's a little bit mild. Oh, but the flavor, the spices, it's just incredible. The flavor is really, really good. I'm already salivating as I talk about it. <laughs> I've always loved the combination of mihun and curry. It just soaks up all the curry sauce all the flavor in the noodles all right i think should be enough it's quite a spoonful oh yes puri forgotten something the sambal oh yeah i don't think that's how you eat it you think you're supposed to mix it in the noodles right okay but let's just do this anyway yeah mm. <laughs> the combination of the noodles the soft noodles with the cockles and the char siu is just incredible. The char siu is pretty soft, I'm surprised. And the cockles are really fresh and it's actually really chewy. I just like how you bite into it and you get that irony flavor bursting out through that cockles. It's just so good. I need to have more of this. We want to add a little bit more flavor, a bit more spice. Put in the sambal. Just dump it all in. And you just give it a little mix. Or you can even eat it on its own. Just try this soup. Oh yeah, it's good. It's so good. Okay, we're gonna finish this up. Right. So we've just completed our meal, and I would say it's so good. It's so good. The best part of these noodles to me is definitely the broth. It's mm. so rich with the flavor. Mm the aroma from the spices and creamy texture. Besides that, what I love is the cockles. It's just so burstingly good. It's yeah, and it's so fresh. It's right? really fresh, yeah. it's really good. So if you... 
Cheers, yes. Coffee and barley. Barley, perfect. yeah. I just like, like this paddles. cute little paddle, yeah. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to us if you'd like to follow us on our travel and food videos. And as always, see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>